let's talk about physical pendulum in this lecture. We already have talked about simple pendulum, which is a string tied to some mass m, and this oscillates about angle theta. And we made free body diagram for this simple pendulum which had an acceleration A in this direction. There was force of gravity and the equation turned out to be x double dot plus, plus uh, root g by, or g by L x equals 0 and we said omega is square root of g over L and time period is nothing but 2 pi root L over g. Well, you see, we framed this equation uh, using the, acce the linear acceleration A. But this system actually has just one degree of freedom, which means there is just one variable that is changing here. And um, uh, like, for example, if you have a, if you have a stick, let's say this is a stick, and this is moving forward and also rotating in time, then it has two variables. First it's moving in the x-axis direction and also angularly it's moving. But right here is just one one variable that is changing in time. So the same equation actually if you s just if, if, if we just pay attention uh, I'm sorry I actually made a mistake here. This is not x double dot. This is theta double dot plus g over l theta equals zero. This is the theta that is changing. And we derived it using the linear acceleration. Now if you pay close attention to this um, equation, we actually can see that this is nothing but, it can be rewritten as, so let's write as m theta double dot plus m g over l theta equals zero and um, actually you can we can uh, put m l square theta double dot plus m g l theta equals zero. Now we had assumed that theta is actually small in our equation, sine theta we assumed to be small and took it closer to theta, but the actual equation was actually m l square theta double dot plus m g l sine theta equals zero. This was this was the original equation. We have just uh, uh, sort of multiplied it by mass m and length l. What is this equation telling? This equation is actually telling that m l square is what? m l square is actually the length is l here. Then m l square is nothing but movement of inertia of this mass about this axis, z axis. Let's say this is the z axis. This is the x axis. This is the y axis. Or you can define this as the x axis up as the y axis. Up to you. But out of the plane is the axis. So out of plane is the z axis. And what this equation is telling is that I alpha plus tau equals 0, which is nothing but what we have always written for the torque equals I alpha. This equation is nothing but the, the sort of Newton's law for the angular case. So we, we, we can achieve the same equation by the linear acceleration A and also the angular acceleration A. So why are we doing this? We are doing this because this is a simple pendulum which has a movement of inertia i equals ml square. We can have a case in which we do not have a case like this, but let's say uh, I'm not. I'm trying to make something weird here. Let's say a baseball bat, or maybe some anything else. I don't know, but anything that is oscillating like this. This is the z-axis and it's oscillating. And 
with an angle theta and has a moment of inertia i. So this equation is valid for this kind of uh, system also and all we have to do is write i theta double dot plus m uh, plus mgl sine theta equals zero just a word of caution here now this has been written like that but I I sort of made a small mistake here we really can't pay not put so this is torque this is the torque calculated torque but uh, here you can calculate torque as um, mg times L you see times sine theta the force here is mg sine theta multiplied by L gives you the torque but the force of gravity is not really acting here for this physical pendulum in fact it's going to act through center of mass cm or com so we are not going to use l here instead let's call this um, i don't know uh, a let's call this a where a is distance of com from z axis so this equation actually should be written as i theta double dot plus mg a sine theta equals zero so this is the equation for a physical pendulum and which is nothing but this equation we are we are we are writing this equation and this is what we achieve and let's take an example in the next lecture to really understand what's going on but keep in mind this is what we are going to we are trying to achieve